Ryan Garcia promises that he'll knock out Javante Tank Davis in two rounds. He said, two, give me two. That's all I need, and I'll knock out Javante Tank Davis. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys smash the like button for the latest and greatest in boxing. And I know you guys clicked on the video, link in the description, so I'll play it straight away. I'm focused, man. Uh, I know, and you know what I'm focused on. You know, I'm not sure. Whenever we want to get into it, but he knows. We all know what's going to happen pretty soon. So, so talk to me. You're obviously talking about time that. To do, I don't have time for celebrations. I'm on one mission. I'm on a mission to knock out Javante Davis in two rounds. Two rounds. Two rounds. This man will go down. Two rounds. That's a promise. Two rounds, calling it two rounds, Javante. If you do not take this next fight with me, you're not taking forever. You will not be remembered. You, are, your legacy will forever be tainted if you do not accept this fight next. The money's there, everything's there. There's no excuses. Down in two, you're down in two rounds. This is why I hopped on this this FaceTime. I hopped on with TMZ. I know you guys got a big race. Let's do it. Two rounds. Let's have go. Have you guys started talking yet, Ryan? Obviously, you've made it clear you want to fight Tank. Have your people started talking to Tank's people yet? From what I've known, we've had some back, uh, we've had some, you know, talks, but not like official talks, nothing crazy, uh, nothing set at, at all in stone. But, you know, um, now is the time. You know, he's had it. He, he got he knocked out Leo Santa Cruz. I beat Luke Campbell. Now the people, this is what the people want to see. Let's make it exciting for the fans. Let's give them what they want. Let's get, let's, let's do it, man. This is our, this is the time. This is the moment. I'm ready for it. Whenever he wants it, of course I want other people to see the fire. I want, I want to be a full capacity. So maybe wait a little longer for that. What's the ideal time for you? What's the, you know, the, the vaccine obviously is being given now. Like you're talking summer. When's the ideal time? I'm thinking May. Okay. I think May, possibly September. You know, I know the world wants to see this fight. This fight is huge. This fight, you know, has a possibility to break numbers. Of course, there's a lot of things. But to me, it's, it's more than that. You know, it's more than the money. This is time for to bring boxing back, right. to bring it to where it was. Do you think this fight would do that, Ryan? Would that? This fight, it is the fight to do it. It's not, I don't think it is the fight to do it. It's the most important fight to boxing right now. This is the fight. Joshua needs to fight Fury, and I need to fight Javante. That's it. We need to get this on. I'm, I'm, I'm going for it. Yeah, I, I, I can tell. Fight. I can tell you're very serious. This is it. So that was Ryan Garcia. He did an interview with TMZ. This is breaking news. You guys see it. It's even on their website. It says boxing star Ryan Garcia pushing hard for the Tank Davis fight. You're down in two rounds. If you do not take this next fight from me, you will not be remembered. Your legacy will forever be tainted if you do not accept this fight. Now, listen. I think Ryan Garcia is a good kid. Like, I think he wants, you know, to prove himself. He showed he was a true fighter getting up from the Luke Campbell fight. You know, I want to, I wish, I wish him the best. I want to see well for Ryan Garcia. But now it's time for your boy Ego to kick the actual factuals and break a few things down. Now, personally, I commend Ryan Garcia because. He did answer some questions just because some people thought he was an Instagram fighter, you know, and he showed he's a real fighter because he got dropped in the second round. It was unexpected. He weathered that storm, came back, got a vicious body shot and, and the body shot was sweet. It looked pretty. You know, he even posted it pretty body shot. You know, it was it was dope. But do I for a second believe the fight is going to happen with Javante Tank Davis next? after that performance absolutely not in fact i did a video volume one and i guess i got to work on volume two because some people had hit me up on instagram and were asking about it but it was basically the real reasons and top reasons ryan garcia was dropped 
in the fight with Lucas Campbell. And it was more of a, it's really just a film study, you know? It's not like to roast Ryan Garcia or whatever. But I've seen him making some pretty big errors, you know, from a, from a boxing standpoint. Now, this was against a much, much lesser in terms of, you know, the perception of most people, uh, a less dangerous Luke Campbell, right? Tank has a bigger name. I understand Luke Campbell is a gold medalist, but he's from England and he's fought mostly domestic level guys. He even lost to even Eva Mendez or Ivan Mendez. And then he stepped up to more world-class guys like Lomachenko and Jorge Linares, and he lost both of those fights, right? He was hurt and dropped by Linares and then hurt in the fight with Lomachenko, and it looked like nearly stopped, right? And then he did get stopped by Ryan Garcia. So Luke Campbell, he's solid. And, you know, Jeff, Jeff Horn was an Olympian as well for Australia. But all that depends on your region. Like you look at places like America, America is known for having top talent. So if you're Errol Spence, Deontay Wilder, and you make it to the Olympics, or if you're an Andre Ward and you make it to the Olympics and you get a gold medal like Ward did, that really means something in America because you're some. we have some of the best fighters in the nation, right? That's just how it is. There's a lot of guys from the UK, for example, that have medals, but their pro career didn't amount to almost their amateur pedigree. Like, let's say James DeGale. James DeGale lost to Badu Jack. He really should have lost that fight. You see what I'm saying? And his teeth got knocked out. Audley Harrison is a gold medalist from the UK. And Audley Harrison got knocked out in one round by Deontay Wilder, a very raw Deontay Wilder way back when, who's only a bronze medalist compared to a gold medalist so you see boxing you know you can't just go off an of amateur pedigree we just recently seen in a more recent fight teofimo lopez right and he just defeated convincingly a two-time olympic gold medalist we've seen top rank has another guy that beat shakur stevenson in the in the olympics robise ramirez and he's from Cuba. He's a two-time gold medalist. He lost like his second pro fight to some random dude from Colorado. And he had to do a rematch to beat him. And as pros, Shakur Stevenson looks further along in, in, in his career. You know what I mean? He's fought the better names and things like that. So you can't get too hyped. Everyone wants to hype up like because Luke Campbell was a, a gold medalist and stuff like that. But, you know, the bottom line is as a pro... He lost all his step-up fights. So we got to put that in perspective. Again, Ryan Garcia, the way this fight looked, he said, I don't have time for celebrations. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to knock out Tank Davis in two rounds. This man will go down two rounds. That's a promise. First of all, no matter how much Ryan Garcia says, you have handlers. Maybe, just maybe, if Ryan Garcia, like he should have, signed to Instagram or something that gave him the freedom. But as long as you're assigned with Oscar De La Hoya and you have Golden Boy and Handlers, right, then you're kind of bound by how they move you. It, it, it's at least, from my view, it's it's going to be at least a mutual consent. It, it's going to be at least a mutual consent. You know what I'm saying? And Oscar De La Hoya is already talking about Ryan's the A-side. All the champions need Ryan. Ryan doesn't need them. We'll fight whoever when we're ready. We'll fight Devin Haney when we're ready. And this is it's almost getting embarrassing because this looks like a major clout chase. And again, I like Ryan Garcia. I like what he's doing. But this looks like a major clout chase. Devin Haney is Ryan Garcia's Man, that well, actually, Devin Haney is the champion, and Ryan Garcia is the mandatory, right? And it's funny because you see a lot of the bigoted fans and the biased fans when Canelo is likely to choose an awful fight, or when Triple G chooses an awful fight, like um, Camille says, Meta 
or they said Canelo may fight against Avni Yildrum, right? You hear the same fans saying, oh, Canelo has to fight Avni Yildrum. It's his mandatory. Yeah, right? Triple G has to fight Camille says Meta. That's his mandatory. Yeah. But now Ryan Garcia is the mandatory to fight a champion who he has an amateur beef with. Like they, they had a rivalry going. They had like five or six fights and they split the different, you know, the outcomes were different. Devin and his dad just recently called out Ryan Garcia. They pulled up to Texas where they don't live to check out Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell. And what does it say on TMZ? Just like the call out after the fight with Luke Campbell is talking about Tank Davis. And again, Ryan Garcia, he's a fighter. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Say he's ambitious. But he's saying, like, oh, I'll beat him in two rounds and it'll be the best fight. You were just in there with the Southpaw, and it was a competitive fight, and you got dropped. So if Ryan Garcia seriously believes that an even more aggressive, an even more powerful, stronger Southpaw that De La Hoya is gonna let him get anywhere near, then I don't I don't know what to tell you. I guess I I I got a bridge in New York to sell you. I do not see it. Listen, we can bet whatever. I'll do a sweepstakes. I'll, I'll give away free money if Ryan Garcia is with Golden Boy and fights Tank Davis next. So really, this is just looking like a big clout chase to me. I swear. And, you know, Ryan's intent could be cool, but it, it's getting to the point where you're almost like, let's say, let's say somebody commits a murder and I'm with him I might not have pulled a trigger but I'm still an accessory to murder because I watched this and allowed it and didn't try to intervene stuff like that so Ryan Garcia with these call outs that he knows likely won't happen I feel like he's almost an accessory to to murder you have to have a real life heart to heart with Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions the fight there's a person that's on your platform that's why it seems like this is such a deflection tactic to steer the conversation into something else there's somebody on your platform as we speak who just called you out and is a champion tank davis he has a version of a belt at 35 and devin haney is a wbc champion so it's like all this stuff like the two round knockout is a major deflection tactic is is almost what what trump does that's what you're seeing in, in boxing where he'll lose the election and then he'll say it's voter fraud but can't show you how it's voter fraud can't show you where the poll was rigged or whatnot you know what i mean so i i, I can't see it man i again i give credit to ryan he, he fought like a true fighter but i can't see him being with de la hoya and getting that fight look related articles ryan garcia says he'll ko luke campbell within three rounds i guarantee it so you <laughs> they referenced another interview they did and you ko'd him but it was in the seventh round so now you're promising another you know so i i just feel like somebody who loves ryan garcia should just have a heart to heart with them the fight week for the luke campbell fight he called out many pacquiao people he said at 140 or 147. He has this, you see this interview where he says he'll knock out Luke Campbell within three rounds. I guarantee it. But in the second round, you were knocked down, you know? So that prediction didn't come, you know, that prediction didn't come true. And now he's saying he's going to knock out Tank Davis. At this point, I don't know who, who really believes that would be the outcome if they fight. Now, the other reason why it looks like a major clout chase is because we're in a pandemic still. The vaccine, people don't have, like, you know, I know plenty of people and no one I know has taken the vaccine. You see what I'm saying? So we're still in a pandemic. He's talking about fighting Tank Davis in May instead of a guy who's on his own very platform, right? And it's almost a contradiction, if you guys heard the clip, because Ryan Garcia admitted 
it would be better because this fight could break records. You know, he said the fight could break records. So if we're in a pandemic and we don't know when crowds and live gates will be back, then you saying this again, accessory to murder, you're putting out information that you know likely won't be the case. We Again, even if nothing else, like let's say you don't agree with me that Oscar De La Hoya, after seeing Ryan get dropped by a Southpaw, who's not as dangerous as, as um, Gervonta Tank Davis, if that's not enough to convince you that this fight won't happen next, then at the very least, you would have to admit that with the uncertainty in the world, and the absence of a live gate, that fight would be harder to pull off. Meanwhile, you have Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, which is something that should be easier because they're on the same platform. It's a mandatory. The WBC said they're gonna order it. So all these like um, sensationalized titles, I, I don't believe them, you know? Listen, if I'm wrong, I like being wrong. Make the fight, let's see it. But I, I don't see this happening, especially with what De La Hoya is saying. De La Hoya literally just said Ryan will fight who he wants. He's the you know top dog, and everybody else got to wait. And he's saying he's talking like that and saying we'll fight when we're ready. Canelo Alvarez just recently said I want Ryan to get a couple more fights. Eddie Reynoso has done interviews with ESPN Deportes, and he said very similar stuff. So Ryan Garcia. It's like he went AWOL and he has this insane belief in himself, which is cool. You're supposed to have that as a fighter, but it's you're an accessory to murder because you know these fights will not happen unless you're in a position like Mayweather where you could just steer your own career. And if, even if nobody believes that you could beat Tank, you could still facilitate the fight because you call all the shots. And we know Ryan Garcia probably isn't in that position at the moment he was just talking six eight months ago about wanting more than two hundred thousand, and golden boy didn't want to come off the pot and they had a million dollar um site fee from the zone so with issues like that it, it's just really hard for me to believe that this is not a clout chase or that ryan garcia himself really believes this can happen there's so many things that as i've mentioned in this video would have to get you have different networks tank is going to fight on fox or showtime ryan fights on the app right ryan's last fight just came on at like 2 p.m my time in california right you've never seen fox or showtime have start times like that so you have different networks then you also have team ryan garcia and golden boy saying that ryan is the a side and he's the a side over everybody so that would include Tank. But obviously, Leonard Ellerby and Floyd Mayweather, they're not going to go for that. Floyd Mayweather, he already put out a, a proposition on actually through TMZ. And he says, hey, we all seen the Roley sparring, you and Roley. So fight that guy, fight one of my Mayweather promotions fighter in Roley. And if you beat him, I'll give you 250000 cash or whatever, and you'll get Tank. And Ryan never fought Roley. So, like, I think they even had it here. Look, there's the video. Remember, 22-year-old Ryan has called out 26-year-old Tank every possible chance he gets. See here, see here, see here. So they referenced it. And and Tank has taken notice, threatening to off him in the ring. Garcia don't want no smoke. You see what I'm saying? That's what it says right there just so we're clear so Floyd already put out that proposition and we never heard nothing from Golden Boy or they never set up the Roley fight but beyond Roley another lightweight right you got Devin Haney and that seems like a much more realistic fight to make so I'm not putting too much stock in this fight actually happening even this fight the Luke Campbell fight Ryan prematurely put this up <laughs> look at what this says look at what this says December 5th, it's time to show what I'm really made of, right? And he prematurely posted this up 22 weeks ago. So it took forever for this fight to officially be announced. Look, in the summer of last year, 
he posted this July 28th when there was rumors that this fight with Luke Campbell was going on July 28th 2020 he posted this and said the fight was on and then De La Hoya came out and um, used his social media says the fight we're still in negotiations so Ryan was already promoting the fight and telling people the fight was done and we literally just watched it two days ago but he he prematurely said the fight was done July 28th 2020 so Ryan's whole team in my opinion to be believed they're gonna have to be in unison and all get on the same page because it doesn't sound like they're on the same page Ryan said the Luke Campbell fight was done last summer and then De La Hoya came out from behind and said no it ain't we're still working on it and then we didn't get the fight then they said December 5th like he said in the post and then they pushed the date back and said it's in January 2nd for the new year so you guys can believe whatever you want I'll continue to believe what I want listen I'm gonna either change the world or be changed by the world prove me wrong if Ryan Garcia, after getting dropped in the second round by a less dangerous southpaw in, in Luke Campbell, if De La Hoya puts him in there with Tank Davis, I commend him. But between Eddie Reynoso and the way Canelo's schedule is set up and what Canelo has said and what Eddie Reynoso has said and what Oscar De La Hoya has said, none of this stuff Ryan is saying really matters because they're not going to make the fight. He can want it all day. He can say, I'll knock you out in two rounds. I do not for one. Listen, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll, I'll make a video. I'll show face and say, hey, I was wrong. Ryan's very next fight with Golden Boy is Gervonta Tank Davis. Listen, I don't care about being wrong. I'll be wrong if, it, if it's great for boxing. It's a, it's a good fight. You know, it's a good fight. But there's too many complications in my view. The pandemic being one of them the absence of a live gate not knowing when that's coming back for me to really believe it's going to happen so all this it just seems like a cloud chase all this talking about second round knockout so let me get this straight ryan again just called out manny pacquiao he just had a tough fight with luke campbell which was a a solid test but it's not no tank davis the way he fights right two southpaws he predicted a third round knockout with Luke Campbell, but he got dropped in the second and then had a very challenging fight, competitive fight. Then he put it together and got the liver shot knockout, body shot, beautiful knockout in round seven. So you took seven rounds to dispatch a guy who had never been stopped before, but neither has Tank. You took seven rounds to dispatch him with his style. And he, even after dropping you, wasn't really aggressive. He wasn't even really aggressive. We know Tank Davis has next level power and his aggression is strategic and on point. So it's hard for me to believe that it takes seven rounds for um, the Luke Campbell fight and you're getting dropped in the second round, but then you're going to just blast Tank Davis out. It, it, like if Ryan really believes that, then he himself could get knocked out. Because that means he's going to go out there, guns blazing, trying to bomb him out like he was doing with Luke Campbell. And that's, if you guys watch my video, the top reasons why Ryan Garcia got dropped by Luke Campbell. That was part of it. I think he was far too aggressive. So I think somebody should just get in Ryan Garcia's ear or, you know, get a PR person or, or whatever. I think he means well. He wants to show people he's, a, he's the truth and stuff like that. But you, you got to... Your whole team is not on the same page. That that much is clear. So I don't see it. If I'm wrong, then I, I can't wait. I can't wait till we get an announcement. Watch it be Jorge Linares or somebody else. You know, but it really needs to be Devin Haney because that's something that should be done. And I think De La Hoya is at a point where Ryan has already had public spats with, with Oscar. So Oscar's just trying to save face he already told you what it was he already said ryan will fight who he wants when he wants and the zone try to set it up too. say you know you're bigger than the belts man you you shouldn't have to fight devin haney you know you, you're bigger than this right so they're already trying to set it up so he can strategically duck the other competition and i'm not saying and if he goes with it then 
that's what your team is setting you up for. They're setting you up for failure or alternate destiny that Ryan is saying he doesn't want. So I hope Ryan's next fight is big because this is just going to look a mess if they put him in, and you know, like I think they're going to put him in after that Luke Campbell fight. But again, I'm human, so we'll see if I'm wrong. Mark this video down, save it to your playlist, and we'll see who is right and who is wrong. But I've been in boxing for a while, and all the patterns and the information I provide in this video tells me something completely different than the tank fight even happening next. Again, even if Ryan Garcia destroyed Luke Campbell, I still don't think the Luke Campbell performance alone would be enough for Oscar De La Hoya to want to put his cash cow Ryan Garcia in with a very dangerous tank he just said a year or two ago oh no tanks a beast Ryan wasn't ready and now he tried to change it to save face and said he'll walk through him but he didn't walk through Luke Campbell that took seven rounds out of 12 you already made it past the halfway mark at that point so you really want me to believe that he'll knock out tank in two you know so you're just going to throw caution to the wind and hope you catch him there. And I just seen flaws. I'm telling you, it's not going to happen, bro. I seen flaws that Ryan needs to tighten up, especially against the Southpaw, you know, so it's, it's not going to happen. It, it sounds good for the headlines, you know, and going viral and viewership, but somebody going to have to prove me wrong. And I can't wait for that. Anywho, use my link ESPN plus in the comment section or in the description box, five ninety nine. ESPN Plus, you can get it as a standalone app or get the bundle ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus, all three apps, one low price of $12.99. Appreciate you guys. Like I said, if I'm wrong, then somebody going to have to prove me wrong. But either way, off of that performance, hell no. First of all, I don't think he would beat Tank, if I'm being honest. And second of all, off of that O-ish moment in the second round, his handlers will not put him in there with Tank, right? That's that's my honest opinion. You guys say whatever you want in the comment section. That's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. And you even have people in boxing like Peter Fury and Gay Rosado, professionals, you know, professional fighters and trainers and teams, and they saying, oh, you got to stay away from Tank. You know, you're not ready for Tank. This is what people are saying. So Ryan Garcia can have all the personal belief. You're supposed to have that have the personal belief and you want to prove people wrong but prove de la hoya wrong and and tell him to make the fight then you know and we'll see if you get it we'll see if he gets it i can't wait drop your thoughts in the comment section as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing